Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Three Pound Fishing. We're out here on beautiful Wren Lake at the Ina Boat Ramp prepping for a tournament. It's going to be a lot of fun. I got Marcus up in the truck. We're about to get in the water. We're about to put some fish in the boat, do some single pulling. Thanks for joining. We're going to have a lot of fun learning a lot about Wren Lake today. Here we go. All right, folks, great episode here. We're going to pre-fish for a tournament, and we're going to actually do the tournament in this same episode. So this, we have two tournaments going on. We have one with Thump Therapy and one with Southern Illinois Crappie Association, and both tournaments are happening at the same time on Wren Lake. It's roughly 18,900 acres located in Benton, Illinois. An incredibly, incredible fishery. Uh, check it out. It's really worth it. It's really known for a lot of big crappie and so we're gonna we're excited This is a tournament. We're gonna pre-fish and then actually the second half of this video is the tournament itself Kept the camera off for a while just so that we can kind of get a grip on the area. We're basically fishing a fence row and a lot of vertical structure Got four good fish in the boat right now Been at it for about an hour Green and orange seem to be the ticket So obviously you can tell that by the wind and by the waves, we it's kind of rough right here. So we decided we're gonna make a move and we run into a good buddy of mine, a pro from Ozark Rods as well, Dave. And um, he helps us navigate us to the other side of the lake because honestly at Wren Lake, you definitely, definitely wanna be uh, careful when you're running your boat around. There's a lot of stumps you don't know about. He knows it a little bit better than us. So um, he was nice enough to navigate us around. That's the great thing about crappie fishing. Uh, typically run into some fantastic guys. Dave's definitely one of them. Dude, it was the movement. So like I said earlier, we're getting ready for a tournament. And uh, we're just single pulling, going up to these fish that are on this vertical structure and there's not a lot of fish on the vertical structure which kind of bothers me I like it when I see something laying down something to get horizontal something that they can feel like they're getting shade off of um, but they're the fish are spooky so we're having to sneak up on them the best we can but unfortunately with this 10 mile an hour wind it makes it a little difficult we're good we got seven fish that we are they're fairly good size but we're gonna see what we can do for these seven fish on this pre-fishing day. Our goal today is just really covering as much ground as we possibly can, even though we are trying to figure out exactly what it is that they like. But I think we figured out the baits, don't you? I mean, a good idea. Yeah, color-wise, it's pretty strong. We feel pretty good about what we're using. Jigs, Bo, you caught the one fish on the minnow, though. Yeah, so. has a lot of white crappie and you can distinguish that by the the vertical bars on it so you can see that hopefully you guys can see those vertical white bars but that's how you distinguish a white crappie which is pretty cool this is a nice uh, skinny 12 incher maybe 12 inch. so we don't have many plays on Ren Lake because we just simply don't fish it that much um, there's a lot of guides on Run Lake. We expect some really good competition on this lake. And, um, but we're doing good on our pre-fish. We feel good. We're, we're solid on live scope and scope and fish. So I don't really think it matters what lake we're on. We're gonna, we're gonna compete with the best of them. And um, we're just supporting. And our big thing on this tournament is definitely doing 110%. Never, never stopping and just, just fishing the entire that. tournament hard. I'm really surprised that little bitty hair jig wasn't working. So the temperature today is going to be 75 degrees. What's water temperature? We haven't looked at that. 72. Fish are done spawning. It is post spawn. Out of the buck brush. Minnow. There we go. Trying a lot of different things today. Mm -hmm. 
So at this point during the pre-fish, we've identified which colors work, but what we're trying to do is we're identifying other colors that might work just as well, our minnows better, a bunch of things. So even though we're pre-fishing, it's not, definitely the goal is definitely not to catch a ton of fish. The goal is to identify what is working and what is not and covering as much ground as possible. Today's curious about the net, that is that Jinko lightweight, big T, 12 footer. It's freaking awesome, best net out there. Check them out at jinkofishing.com. Um, lightweight, one-handed. I can bring up a fish, one hand easily get the, the fish. It's just so lightweight, it's very nice. Today I'm sponsored by Clancy's Baked Original Baked Potato Crisps. Wild hair, don't care. Hasn't been cut since the uh, pandemic. I'm trying not to overdo it today. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to feel dead. All right, so after a pre-fish, we've got a plan, and the tournament is up next. Marcus, how do you feel about your pre-fish? Uh, I think it's going pretty well. Um, we'll see. I, I can't give out any information right at this time. <laughs> well, good morning. It's bright and early. Me and Marcus, tournament day, Rin Lake tournaments going on thump therapy check them out on facebook i'll put something on the screen for you to go follow them they've got a tournament going on and so does the so does the uh, southern illinois crappie association so we're actually doing two tournaments today seven fish me and marcus ready on a beautiful day on run lake it's going to be uh wind conditions are going to be roughly around uh i guess eight mile an hour by nine o'clock ten o'clock uh, something all right and uh I tell you what, this is only supposed to be four mile an hour and you can see the waves. So something about Rin Lake is very exposed, but it's a lot better than yesterday. So we're gonna take it. We're looking forward to it. We're just gonna single pull. Hopefully we'll do some talking. Beautiful morning. We don't do a lot of talking during the tournament, but here's our net, Jinko fishing net. Our setup. Let's go. All right, so it's game time. And so our original plan is at this point to fish exactly like we did it during the pre-fish outside of Ina boat ramp and then move over to three fingers then uh, when the wind actually picks up now we did really well during the pre-fish i'm not gonna lie we probably ended up with nine pounds and something and we were messing with baits that we knew probably weren't going to catch fish and, and and we didn't so had we focused just on the good baits we think we would even put a bigger number together so you know, our goal today is to fish 110%. Um, also to prove that if you're a good live scope fisherman, it really does not matter what lake you're on. So, you know, there's always a lot of pride and people that uh, fish a lake for just, that's the only lake they fish and they think they're gonna, they're gonna compete. But our point is, is that if you're good at live scope and we can find the fish maybe the week prior to an event, we're gonna be able to compete with you because we're that good at live scope and we are. So. We're working hard, 110%, and that is our goal today for every single minute of this tournament. So about an hour into the event, uh, we decided that it really just needed to be me, 
going towards the fish and Marcus was going to be the net man at the time if there was only one fish to focus in on. It had to be a big fish, it was going to be single fish, I'm going after it. I had a really hot bait, I mean they were popping on it every single time. It did not matter what I threw it down at and um, Marcus is just always going to be there ready and I thought it was a great strategy and I'm telling you what we put a lot of good fish in really quick with that. Um, when you've got a hot bait, I mean, the other strategy could be that both people put that bait on, but I think sometimes that might just spook the fish. And so when I'm working single by myself and he's just worried about netting the fish, it makes it so simple and so quick, um, especially when you're fishing just for one particular fish. Um, not having to wait for the net. You can see here Marcus is just getting ready. That's all he cares about right now. He's focused in on getting ready to net the fish. And uh, it's just a great strategy. And sometimes he'd put it back and then he would go after it because they didn't snag mine. But at this point in the day, my bait was extremely hot. So yes, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of intensity when we're fishing. This particular fish was an extremely big fish that I had on the line. If you look at it really closely, I actually carried that fish up a probably about a foot and a half in the water column before it got off. And let me tell you, it was intense because we worked so hard to get it. And it was, I mean, it was by far, in my personal opinion, one of the biggest marks we have seen of the day. And it just didn't seem to happen. And boy, the passion <laughs> and the anger when you don't get it happening. So. Um, well, that's fishing, and uh, we went right back to work and didn't slow us up one bit, but it just shows you the passion that you can have in crappie sure. fishing for sure. <laughs> So here's where one, maybe we screwed up a little bit. We were a little lackadaisical in culling out some of our early fish. And I'll tell you what, this is gonna come to play at the end of this event, and you're gonna see why. But rather than you know pointing to one versus the other and which one is bigger, um, you really definitely have to take your culling seriously because it comes down to hundreds of an ounce. I mean, it's ridiculous how what it comes down to. And um, it, it always tends to come down there. So you have to take it serious. And so well, here we are, we're calling out our fish. We, we always keep roughly around eight to 10 fish. And then we start narrowing it down to the seven that we're gonna, we're counting. But either way, taking it serious is extremely point, important. And at the beginning stages of this event, we didn't, we were just pointing to them. So you'll see at the end what this turns into.
full of 0.83s and 0.90s. Shrinks and gets into the boat. All day long with these. 0.8s, 0.9s. Beautiful fish anywhere, but not on tournament day. Point eight five. See you later. So it's late in the day. Our, you know, basically the fish that we need to replace is a 1.05. And we were just hammering all these fish that were 0.95. It didn't matter. I mean, 1.85, just straight up one pounders. And we heard this from a lot of the anglers after the event that they were experiencing the same thing. So literally I'm showing you just a fraction of how many of these one pound fish that we had caught. Um, but you, you go ahead and you dip in for them and you, and you try to get them because you just don't know. I mean, they could be that, that could be that small fraction over one pound that gets you an upgrade. So you take the chance at it. All right, we're back from Rin Lake and we are pleased to announce that we got fifth place. All right, I'm gonna freeze it right there because the mood here is definitely not the mood that I was hoping to project because me and Marcus were extremely ecstatic. Marcus crushed it on this day. We both did and it just was a great day for us. We missed third place by .04. That's right, folks. The teams, the fourth place and third place teams were literally, they tied and they were only .04 away from where we were at. So we had a missed fish that went up to the surface that was a monster. It was definitely the game changer. There was the fish that you saw me slap the pole down. That's another game changer. And then there's just the, maybe we should have been a little bit more serious about, you know, when we were culling those earlier fishes. Because I'm telling you right now, we were, I mean, 0.04, is that the, is that the weight of, a, of the cap on a pin? I mean, that's the weight that you're talking about. So. Um, we had a great time. We were excited. We thought we did incredible on a lake that perhaps we shouldn't have and essentially did as good as anybody and we cashed a check and that's a big deal in a big field like this. Probably the biggest field of the year, no doubt about it. Out of, I believe it was 20 teams out of the Sika event and then 30 teams out of Thump Therapy. So we're really excited. You know, this is not a lake that we fish at all be quite honest with you. So we were, we, we, we worked hard and we've said this entire time that we wanted to go 100, do 110% 100 percent of the time that was our deal so walk away off the lake get off the lake and say hey we gave it our all and we didn't so we're no breaks no breaks no nothing we just eight hours two pole in it all the way around and we learned a lot about Ren Lake so it's a great leg check it out and uh, Marcus is going to walk you through what he was using can you walk what you've been using? Yes, sir. So, yeah, very exciting time to be quite honest with you. That's probably the best. I mean, considering the amount of people that were in that event, it was to, to finish fifth is great. A lot of great fishermen. So, so we got the 12 foot brush buster. Um, pick that. Uh, I knew we were looking for giant fish, and I totally trust this rod to pull them in. Um, this guy right here was the ticket for me. Um, tipped with a wax worm, just like you see there. It really, we don't know if it gave the bite, but we had it, had it on every time. It did really well, held up well. Felt really comfortable with it. So, great day, so great time. Got to meet a lot of great people and uh, we hope they do it again, so. Thanks again for watching, guys. Great day. I'm going to show you the stats, the leaderboard, all that stuff that's going to be on the, on the screen right now. So please subscribe. Here we go. Thanks for watching another 3-Pound Fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.